Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. A little room with a master locksmith. Again? Really? Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Sure, I'm still finding that extremely suspicious. Really, really suspicious. I've never actually seen her tools. Maybe she doesn't have them, but if she doesn't, then how is she opening them? I don't know. Master criminal, if anything. Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Alright, how much do I have? Two letters. Alright, let's go to the first floor, get away from the mailbox while we read this. I suppose if we're standing on the, uh, the bottom floor next to the mailbox and reading people's mail, and if somebody came in and saw that, they might find it a little bit suspicious. Alright, letter to Pauline. It's addressed to Pauline Summers. She's a young mother who lives in flat 8. Ooh, this will be a conversation starter, I suppose. My opener will be, hey, so I read your mail, and it turns out that... And then the next thing that's going to happen is she's going to call the police. Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. Hmm. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try. But I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're going to have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. All right. Letter to Joe. It's addressed to Joe Davis. He lives opposite me in flat three. And that's the one with the the one who lives in the creepy apartment with a gigantic hole in it from the floor below, and also a super super complex lock. It's from Doctor Frank Zellman. It appears he's Zo Joe's shrink. Apparently, Joe failed to attend his weekly sessions recently. Well, well. It looks like Joe's just as messed up as I am. Or worse. Who knows? I should be the last to make judgments, really. Alright, let's head on up. And Mitzi can go have a chat with Pauline. Now, what do I do? Do I use the letter? No. Knock on the door? Coming! Right, step back. I'll handle this. Oh, hello? Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... okay, maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth! Uh, hi, Pauline. Um... How are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I... Um... What would be the most convincing thing to say? I suppose I could just tell the truth. Uh, 
Um, let's just tell the truth. Oh, I'm Mrs. Ashworth's lodger. She kindly offered me a room and we've been living together for the last couple of weeks. I mentioned to her I was looking for a job. My parents pay for the room and school fees, but I could do with some extra spending money. So, anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. My mother always says you have to get your hands dirty to learn something properly. Not that you get dirty hands looking after babies. Just m metaphorically speaking. Well, it can get dirty. I hope you understand the job it involves changing nappies, too. Yes, of course. I don't have a problem with that. Yes, well, you sure sound enthusiastic. Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. I could really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Yes. Well, you'll... Okay. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Fine. Just don't overdo it. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. What a nice flat! I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. I'll need you to drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it and so far she's buying it. Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? Alright. Susan's obviously extremely uncomfortable. Also, this is the first apartment I've seen in this place that actually does not look like a complete shithole. It actually looks kind of okay. I didn't know that was even possible in this place. Alright. Well, if all else fails, I suppose I can hit her over the head with a broom. Maybe not the best course of action. But it is an option. They're mostly photos of a baby. There are a couple of Pauline and her ex. His face missing on each one of them. If she wants to, to cut this guy out of her life so badly, why won't she just take these pictures down? Wait, so his face is just missing from the pictures? That's extremely creepy. Why the heck? Yeah, just take him down. Jesus. I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she has a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Hmm. I don't want to make it seem like I have much experience, because then she's going to expect a certain amount of knowledge, so no. Not really, but I'm a fast learner. Oh. I'm not going to lie to you. That's not great. I don't really have time to teach you. I'm already so busy. You seem like a nice girl, though. And I suppose Mrs. Ashworth here will give you some basic training. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Melissa. But my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. Ooh. 
Ooh, I definitely don't want to just start asking about her dad. That'd be very inappropriate, and I would probably just get kicked out. Hmm. There just isn't enough support for working parents. There just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. Where do you work? Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about, would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. I, yes, definitely. But I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just ordinary things, this and that. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I... <laughs> I stroked a filthy-looking dog. Um... I hugged a homeless man outside this house. What the hell? Mm. I volunteered at the hospital earlier today. That's probably the best one. Yeah. I volunteered at the hospital earlier today. Oh, I'm impressed. You don't see many young people doing that these days. But you're right. As nice as that is of you, there's all sorts of bugs you can pick up in a hospital. It won't hurt to be extra careful. I'll show you to the bathroom. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously? Do something. Anything. Fine. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. I need a bit of time. Okay. I can do this. Am I just supposed to answer the door, or should I look around first? There's probably really nothing to look at, is there? Well, there's a bookcase. Nothing useful here. Just books, 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 and a few toys. Should I let her in, or should I... I'm just gonna let her bang at the door. Whatever. <laughs> Most of these photos show Pauline and her kid. There's also some guy on a few of them, but his face seems to be cut out on every single picture he appears on. Odd. Okay, no offense, Pauline, but cutting out the faces of people in photos is like a serial killer sort of looking thing. It's kinda creepy. Her kitchen looks sparkling clean. Bang at the door all you want, I'm not gonna answer it. It gets dark early over the side of the building. Nice TV, holy shit! That's a big TV. Yeah, what is it, about 2,000 inches? That's totally not hyperbole. They're not in the bathroom yet. Sounds like Mitzi is telling her some fake stories about her childhood. Maybe I can quickly check that room later if she eventually starts washing her hands. Okay, let's get the door. Hello. 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 Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. May I come in, please? Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitter's Agency, of course. 
We bring fun and professionalism into childminding at a discount price. <laughs> May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Hang on, I said. Okay, you seem really obnoxious. And something tells me you don't bring fun into child minding. You don't seem like a very fun person. I'm sorry. The position has already been taken. Please now commence fucking off. I'm sorry. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Thanks for your time. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. There must have been some kind of mix-up. No, there wasn't a mix-up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. Should I... stop her? I could hit her over the head with a broom. That's still an option. Um, wait. Where the hell... where'd she go? Um... Okay then, goodbye. It's the wee little kid. Look at this squirming little sack of filth. You disgust me. Laptop. It's Pauline's laptop. Let's have a look at it. I don't know I don't know enough about computers. I should leave it to Mitzi. I can hear the water running. I must hurry. They could be out any second now. There's lots of photos of Pauline and her ex. His face has been cut out of every single one of them. Okay, she's definitely a candidate. She's definitely a suspect. Ooh, scissors. I need those. Stupid woman, leaving baby. L leaving baby right next to a pair of sharp scissors? How dare you leave baby next to scissor? Sounds like it was written by a caveman. No leave baby. Okay. I think that's it. Yeah, here we go. So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Well, I hope you told him to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. Yeah, me neither. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Wait! Ooh, okay. Need a good excuse. My hands still aren't clean enough. That's not a good excuse. Um. Um. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. Oh. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes, definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly, go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please, what if I faint? I, I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. You must have got some bag in the hospital after all. Okay. This time I'm this time I actually am going to hit her over the head with a broom. Would you fuck off? It's you. 
again. Hello. Is this flight number eight? My name is Rita Tickle from the Happy Nanny Agency. May I come in, please? Are you, are you serious? Yes, it's flat number eight. It says eight right next to you. You just talked to me. Also, how can your last name be Tickle? What the hell kind of a last name is Tickle? No, no one's named Tickle. That's not a real name. <sighs> Look, sweetheart. I'm sorry. I can't help you. You are looking for a nanny, yeah? No, not anymore. I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioural psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. Just to use the restroom. Wow, that sounds really great, but I don't need your services. You don't need a nanny. No. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <laughs> <laughs> You're an evil person. <laughs> You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. Oh, Susan. <sighs> Susan, you're awesome. Yeah. I'm evil. But you're thick. Alright, I think that worked. Is there something else I can do? I mean, I already checked out everything already. I can't do the laptop. No. Y yeah, what else can I do? Oh, I yeah, I guess I could leave. I could cut the pram? I could cut the wires that would kill me? This is pure suicide. I don't do that shit. Anymore. There must be a safer way. Uh... The extension cord! What if I cut it when it's off? These scissors seem sharp enough. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. That's not coming on again anytime soon. happened to the lights? I'm... I'm terrified of the dark. I, I... I... I can't move. Oh god. Can't breathe. Calm down, it's alright. Probably just that stupid meter. It must have run out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please, you've got to do something about it. I... I think I'm going to faint. Fine, just stay in my bedroom. There'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. It'll only take a minute. Okay. Now we can check out the laptop. <sighs> right. Let's do it. Is that you, Mrs. Ashworth? What happened? Um... No idea. Maybe it's a blackout, like in the old days. It's probably just the mirror. Let me see. 
Uh, she's gonna know it's been tampered with because she's gonna see the cut cable. been cut. But why would anyone do that? I think we're going to go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. Is that you, Mitzi? But we haven't finished yet. Have you changed your mind about the job? No, of course not. I'm just scared of darkness. And I still feel sick, you know. Perhaps we can continue some other time. I've had it. I'm getting a new fuse box. Was that you, Jesse? Yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical stall that's open till late. I'll get some stuff and I'll be back before you know it. Bear in mind it's not just the fuse box, it's the cable this time. I'll get a new cable too, don't worry. But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's awfully nice of you. Well, it was great seeing you. But we're going to leave now. Hello. Oh that? God, not My you. My name is Rita Tickle. <laughs> Rita, who? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? I've never seen her before in all my life. Now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbour in the house anyway. Thanks. What? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? No. Of course not. It's just that Pauline seems alright. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside flat seven and see what he's been up to. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history, and needless to say, there's nothing exciting there. Okay, but she kind of seems like a serial killer because she cut out her... her boyfriend's face out of all of the photos. It's a little bit creepy. But okay, she's not the one. Let's have a look around. He probably locked it behind him if he has any sense at all. Now that he's gone, we can get inside? Yes, let's do that. I'll close my eyes and you pick that lock, Mitzi. Okay, but no peeking. I'd never. You've really hurt my feelings now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now close them. There. Job done. The Jesus. fuck? Are these... Wait, maybe they're just props. Relax, Mrs. A. They're just Halloween masks. Okay. Oh, good. That's good. Because I swear, if I see another bloody head... Okay, why is there a low-lying fog inside of his apartment? Is he running a fog machine? Maybe it's always Halloween inside of his apartment. Oops. No! Go back in! Oh. Well, that's going to be my mask for the statue. But which one do I want? Hmm. Which one do I want? A 
Let's take the clown mask. I hate clowns so much I'd rather not touch this mask at all. Okay. Let's take the devil's mask. I get terribly sweaty wearing it. There's such a thing as too much rubber. Okay, how about the hockey mask? None of these look illegal. I guess he just likes plants. This one's pretty big. The speaker is massive, and it's connected to Jesse's computer. Whenever he plays some music, the walls must be shaking. Hmm. I think I know what I'm about to do here. I'm gonna have to hang the extension cord out the window to the lower apartment, aren't I? Well, let's try this first. It won't work, it seems someone's got the power off. Gee, I wonder who did that? It won't work, there's no power. It's just his PC. Is that the infamous source of noise? Well, indirectly. Obviously, the actual direct source of noise is the speaker, but yeah. Jesse's PC is plugged in here. If only we had access to a working electrical outlet. I can hear some late evening traffic through the open window. Alright, let's drop the extension cord down. Is it actually long enough to reach? I guess it's very long. So, who's got windows over this side of the building? Well, Joe Davis lives right below. I guess we could also check one flat below Joe's. I just hope the cable's long enough. Let's find out, shall we? I suspect it's not going to be, but yeah, let's find out. However, I think I might have everything I need to complete the dress. So maybe we should go do that. Yeah, let's go do that. Actually, wait, no, we don't have enough stuff, do we? We can't open the paint. Unless I can use the scissors? No. Alright, well, let's do this anyway. Alright, that'll mess it up. We need to make some adjustments. Now this is a dress worthy of the Cat Widow. <laughs> Why don't you admit it was too small for you? <laughs> ha ha, bloody ha. Why don't you just shut up? Whoever wore this dress probably hadn't eaten in years. You'd struggle to get a skeleton into it. That is a very narrow-waisted dress. Well, I guess... Actually, can I take it? Okay. So what do we need? Well... Yeah, I, I know. I know. Red. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The cost... Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Yep, I know. Alright, can I actually take it? I can't take it again. Alright, it's fine. I can't do it now anyway. Please, please reach the window. 
Although I seriously doubt it will. But please reach the window. Please. Please. Oh. It does. Uh, but is it going to reach all the way to the socket? Sweet. Okay, cool. now. Could you give me five minutes, Mrs. A? Sure. Why not? I'll keep an eye on the door. It's not him either. That only leaves three more people. Brian, the old man, and the creepy couple. Hmm. Question is, what the... Oh, wait a minute. I can use the broom to get the statue thing down, right? Wait, I haven't tried that? Surely I've tried that before, right? No, I'm not so sure. I don't know if I've tried that, but it just, it seems to make sense, so let's do it. I'll there. try to catch that thing for you, alright? Alright. It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. <laughs> Lovely. Screw you too. Now, what do I do the statue of a cat? Oh. Maybe it's got something useful inside of it. Let's shake it. It has a key. It seems like something inside. A black porcelain cat with open mouth. It wouldn't be out of place in my own flat, but I've probably got enough of these already. Let's break it. There was a key inside the cat statue. What a strange hiding place. What happened to the good old doormat? I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. I don't remember asking you to catch anything. Okay, but why would... Why would they put their key inside of a cat statue and put the cat statue right next to a gigantic hole? I don't understand. Or maybe the hole appeared before they even realized it was there. Maybe they haven't been there for a while. I... Who knows? Anyway, let's go take a, a peek. I bet they're serial killers. What do you bet they're serial killers? I think they're serial killers. Let me save it first. Because I don't want to get serial killed. I don't I don't want to be serialized. Do you want to go in first? Yeah, they're serial killers. Only serial killers have red light. Come on in. The place seems empty. Watch out, Mrs. A. There's a massive hole in the floor. Just step around it. I'm not blind. Besides, I know it's there. 
We saw it from the floor below. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. I really don't like this place. Yeah, it's rather creepy. Yeah, that's because they're serial killers. Remember the hole, Susan. I won't forget it. I won't forget it. Apparently it's right about at the doorway, which is a strange place for it. But then again, what would not be a strange place for a gigantic hole in your floor? I guess pretty much any place would be strange, wouldn't it? What the hell is wrong with the lighting here? Um, yeah, what the fuck? Bingo. We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. Maybe Joe is our guy after all. No, no. It's a disaster. The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. You sure this is gonna work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. Um, yeah, okay, if I stay here, they're gonna come back and I'm gonna have to hide. But why don't we just go together? Why don't we go together? I really don't like this place. You said you haven't seen this guy for ages. He probably doesn't even live here anymore. Relax. Nothing's gonna happen. I'll be back before you know it. I will count to a hundred. If you're not back, I'm out of here. I'll be back before you get to 75. Don't worry. Hey, I just remembered something that'll keep you busy. While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. What? Why? To keep your mind occupied. I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I'm back. So you're a mind reader now? No. This is just a little experiment of mine. Okay, whatever. Now go. I'm counting already. Okay, cucumber. Why do I always end up in places like this? I'm going with the cucumber. Let's see, if she get, let's see if she gets it. Uh, is that a phone? Like, is that part of the ambient track or is that actually a phone? I can't even tell. But yeah, they're gonna come back and I'm gonna get murdered. Pretty much a sure thing. Is there something over here to the right? Nope. If there is a phone, I don't know where it is, and that's fine because I don't really want to answer it. Let's look at this creepy smashed up mirror. Break, breaking mirrors. I tried that myself. It didn't cheer me up somehow. What a fancy chair. You usually see chairs like this one in posh hotels in the country. Let's have a, let's have a sit down. No, I'd rather not. It's quite dusty and I'm wearing black. Right. Great. Three sixes. The number of the beast. He probably keeps mutilated bodies of his victims there. On the other hand, I read once there was some other meaning to three sixes too. Something really innocent. I can't remember now. It was a long time ago. And I've had other things on my mind. Yeah, people don't usually put 666, like, tilted on their door. Looks like it's painted in old blood. They don't usually do that in an innocent way. It's a socket. Once we've got that power lead, we can plug it in here. No coats on the rack. Joe is probably wearing his coat wherever he is. It's cold this time of year. Above the desk, the wall is covered with pages pinned to the wall. They look like handwritten letters. Right, the phone's in here, apparently. Disgusting. Rotten food is scattered on the table. Looks like someone made a meal and barely even touched it. 
It looks pretty old. They don't make them like this anymore. Let's turn it on. That's lovely. Remember the hole, Susan. Mm-hmm. Something tells me I'm gonna need that hole to escape or something. Strange. I don't think it's even plugged in. It must be just my imagination playing tricks on me. Oh, I imagine the phone ringing. Okay, great. Can I just leave? What the fuck? Damn. The door handle just came off in my hand. How am I going to get out of here now? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay. Mitzi? Mitzi, are you there? Shit. I think I'm going to need to jump down the hole. What in the hell is even happening? All right, let's pick up the phone. That damn hole. Nearly forgot about it this time. There's no point. It stopped ringing now. Well, if it was ringing at all. Yeah, because it's apparently not plugged in. And phones that are plugged in aren't plugged in usually can't ring. Jesus. Okay, let's just keep moving. Let's go inside of the 666 room. That light wasn't moving before. This door seems to be missing a doorknob. Let's rectify that. Okay. Let's save. Well, that's perfectly normal. Nothing odd going on here at all. Nope. The water from the bath has completely flooded the bathroom floor. Not that I care. I just want to leave as soon as possible. Okay. A mannequin. In the bath. This guy's nuts. No doubt about that. It's dirty. Like everything else in this place. This must be the power lead that we need. Maybe luck's on my side after all. Hmm. What an inopportune time to come back. Please fall down the hole. Nope. We're gonna save right now. I need to hide. I've got to get out of here. Let's go towards the creepy body. What the fuck? Okay, where can I hide? Where can I hide? He's gonna see me if I go out here, but what the hell else can I do? Yeah. Hi. What? Jesus. No. You were not supposed to be here! Why did you have to ruin everything? What have you done, you stupid, evil bitch? Who are you? Um... Uh, d uh... I'm sorry, the door was open. I'm sorry, the door was open? 
I thought you moved out. You took her away, didn't you? What has she ever done to you? What? Look, sir, you are wrong. I just came here to find my cat. It's gone missing. Yeah, I see. That stupid cat. I've been looking for it too. The little bastard took off with my key. I'm gonna rip him to pieces. Um... My friend knows that I'm here. My friend knows that I'm here, and she will call the police. And I've got a gun. I can shoot you right there in your heart. It's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Of course, you haven't got a heart. Isn't that right? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll just leave. Very slowly. I won't cause you any trouble at all, okay? I think I'm gonna need him to fall down the hole. Or maybe I need to fall down it and then run away, I don't know. Just... Calm down. Calm down. I'll go now, and we'll forget all about this. There's nowhere to go. It's all wrong. No matter what I do. Damn it! Get back here right now! And give me that blasted key! Please, don't get angry. I don't have any keys. Just sit down and take a deep breath while I make my way out, all right? Oh, she did fall. Ow. Did that kill her? I guess I'm dead. Well, it won't be that lo that way for long. Right. Four doors. The writing above the door says devil. Okay. Devil came through here. Here devil came through. Through came devil here. What? Obviously, I need to pick one. Um. Let's go with the devil. Wrong choice. Here. Oh, okay. What the? Okay. All of them have brick walls. I guess I have to get the order correct. Right, so devil came through here. Bingo. be afraid. I, I don't buy it. Come in already. I might need your help with something. 
I'm still in the dream world, right? Yeah, I must be. There are mostly horror books on these shelves. More than half of them are written by Stephen King. I guess Joe's a fan. This bed is rather fancy. It reminds me of beds they have in cheesy country hotels. Let's not talk to Joe yet. Someone's blood on this chair, too. Blood everywhere, yay! There are bloody handprints all over it. What the hell? The metal cover is tightly screwed in place. I can't remove it by hand. There's nothing special about it. Is this... Joe's wife? Poor woman. This is horrible. Wait, is she alive? Hello? What the fuck? Misery. I is that what you said? I think I'm gonna leave now. Yeah. Where are we? Where are we? I really can't remember the name of this town, but I'm pretty sure the hotel is called Quiet Haven. This? Is a hotel? I know. It's a joke. They shouldn't charge half the price for this dump if you ask me. That's the name of the sign that was in the basement. You need my help. I thought you wanted to kill me. Why would I want to kill you? You must be mistaken. Who do you think I am? A murderer? Um... Sorry, I guess I have the wrong idea. Let's not piss him off. Sorry, I must have gotten the wrong idea. It happens to me sometimes. I've been known to be a bit... intimidating, I guess. But I'm not a violent person. Okay, good to know. I mean, I will use violence if I'm pushed against the wall. Do you know what I mean? All too well, Mr. Davis. All too well. I'm sorry. I just want to leave. Yes, I understand. I wouldn't stay here myself if it was my decision to make. I'm stuck here too. You see... My wife, Ivy, is in the room to the left. She's a little fragile at the moment. She said she was going to do her makeup, but it's been a week now, maybe longer. Every time I try to talk to her, she just gets angry, and she tells me she's not done yet. I've cooked her a meal, but she ignores me. She never likes what I cook. But what's that got to do with me? If you talk to her, I'll show you the way out, I promise. Just go in there and tell her, tell her she looks fine. She's always so careful about looking perfect. Okay, okay. I'll see what I can do. Okay, yeah, we'll just go have a chat with your wife. She's very talkative. So she's been in there for a week. So... Your wife's been in that room for a week. Now that you bring this up, I think it might have been a month. Hmm. That's a very long time to stay in one place. She wants to look great. I guess it takes time, but we really have to go now. I think there's a big storm coming. I feel it in my bones. Goodbye, Joe. Okay, let's go have a chat with his wonderful wife. <laughs> yeah. Huh. 
Hi. Hello. Misery. I is that what you said? I can't tell her that she looks nice. I guess I can't. The metal cover is tightly screwed in place. I can't remove it by hand. Do I have any tools? Not really. Um, yeah, I, so I talked to your wife, Joe. Hmm. Doesn't even seem to matter. Goodbye, Joe. Let's see what's over to the right. Absolutely nothing. Okay. So what do I do? This is all just a dream, right? It's funny that you would say that. I've already heard that somewhere today. But if this is a dream, I've been asleep for a very long time. So, you're what- Now that you- that's a very short. I think there's. I feel it. It's strange that this option keeps popping up. I can keep saying it again and again. Goodbye, Joe. I guess I can give him the letter? But what did it say? Yeah, he's Joe Shrink. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't use it. I can read it, but nothing else. That is no help whatsoever. I have a power lead. I don't see how that's gonna help. Can I use it on the panel? No. I have absolutely no idea what to do. Would you like a power lead? No. I, I must be missing something really, really simple, right? I'm supposed to tell her she looks beautiful, but I can't. So... I don't get it. Alright, there's bloody handprints and numbers associated with them. One, two, three, four, and then there's a five above this door here. What does that have to do with anything at the moment? As far as I can tell, it doesn't. There's so few things to interact with here, I don't get what I can be missing. I really don't want to talk to her again. I think I might have to. It's probably just gonna say misery again, though. Hello? Misery. 
misery. I is that what you said? I could do it again, but what would be different? Well, I, I don't understand. What am I missing? I have four, I four items. I've examined everything. I've said everything. Goodbye. Jim. So what is there left to do? Oh, wait a minute. Search. What the hell? I didn't see that before. Okay. There's a book titled Misery there. Oh! Is that what she meant? It's a long shot, but I might as well try. I guess she really wants to read. She has been in there for a week, or a month, or a year, or eternity. Misery by Stephen King. Oh yeah, I saw the movie. That was a disturbing movie. Here you go. Please don't break my legs. Oh. A screwdriver. I suppose a part of me expected a gun. But this will come in handy for sure. Alright, I can use it on the panel, I bet. Okay. What is this? And there are two switches on both sides of the panel. I wonder what they do. Let's find out. Pull the left switch. Um, I don't think she liked it. Pull the left switch again. Is she happy? <laughs> I don't know. Pull the left switch again. I, I don't even know what it's doing exactly, other than obviously moving them. Mm-hmm. Okay, what if I pull the right switch? Okay, that's back to how it was before, right? And she's just gonna say misery again. Hello? Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna skip that because it's really disturbing. Do I need to make it so she can't see herself? Because it seems like she could before. Wait, look, let's try. Hello? It's probably gonna be the same. Maybe that's better? It's kind of more pointing towards her, I guess. She does want to look beautiful. I guess she needs to see herself. Hello? Uh. Mr. 
misery. I is that... I guess it's not working. Okay, hold on. Maybe it's related to this. These numbers here. So it's apparently, apparently it's a wardrobe. This has bloody handprints all over it. Hmm. Two right handprints, a left and a right again. Could it be a clue? Gee, I wonder. Two right handprints. All right, so right, right, left, right, and right. Okay. So right, right, left, right, right. 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 Left. Right. And right. Oh, yeah. She's beautiful. No. 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 No! This isn't Ivy! This isn't my wife! It's the monster. It followed me here. It always follows me. No matter what I do. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. You must kill it. What? Why me? You still got that power lead, haven't you? The one you stole from me? How do you even know about it? You must use it to kill her. To strangle her. You're out of your mind! Do it! Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again, or I'll shoot you right here, right now! You can't kill me. Well, you can, but I'll just come back. No. Kill me if you want, but I won't do that. You're with her? I should have guessed. I can't trust you. You're better off dead. Are you alright, Mrs. A? You look like you've seen a ghost. I... Something strange happened. Maybe I am mad after all. Don't be silly. I was gone for less than one minute. Really? Somehow it felt longer than that. Time drags when you've got nothing to do, I guess. I see you found the laptop cable. That's good news, because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? Well, that was a waste of time. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Hey, did you think of a vegetable? What? I'd asked you to think of a vegetable while I was gone, so... Cucumber. Did you? I... yeah. Sure. Great! Now don't tell me, was it... Carrot? Nope. No. Sorry. Oh, that's... odd. Are you sure? Yes. I thought about celery. Now let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. He is not a nice guy.